So, the Irish accent. It is a hard accent to do, I'll grant you that. In Dublin alone, there are a ton of different dialects, and that's in one tiny city. I don't know if per capita anywhere else in the world there are so many different types of accent. You can have one accent in one place and then not 15 minutes down the road a completely different dialect. For example, consider the word later. Now, one minute I might say later, and another minute I might say later, just depending on what I feel like, how tired I am, the context of it. A couple of other ways you could say it in Ireland are later, 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 later. And that's just one word. It's no wonder even dialect coaches struggle with the Irish accent, because there is no one Irish accent. And those poor kids in Hollywood have been getting it wrong for years, years. And today I'm gonna give you guys five examples where people did it really, really well on screen, and five examples where people just killed it, they butchered it, it was cringeworthy. In Ireland, we had to watch like this. I'm gonna award the good ones a rating scale of pints. And I'm going to reward, reward, give the bad ones banshees. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of a banshee before. And if you haven't, maybe that's worthy of a video. I'm gonna try and avoid some of the really, really old movies because I kind of feel like they get a little bit of a get out card. They didn't have access to all the different ways of researching the accent we do today. So let's kick off this list with a little positivity. In America. I love this film so much, I feel like it's really underrated and I actually did an essay on it in college about racial identity and magic. But anyway, the kids in this film are so cute. They're all grown up now, which makes me kind of sad. Why can't child actors just stay the same age? Samantha Morton and Paddy Considine do an amazing job with the accents in this film. Both of them just seem to relax into the accent and don't force it, which comes across really, really well. So you're gonna put your life on the line for the sake of the kids. You know what the doctor said. What do they know about us? And I'm gonna award this one five pints. That's right, a full five. Because I really don't think they could have done a better job than what they done did. What? Next up, we're going to look at an abundance of terrible Irish accents in Gangs of New York. These guys should have known better. The budget behind them, the production value was insane. When you're going to perform in an accent and you know the lines you're exactly going to have to say, get somebody from that accent to say them and write the words down phonetically. These guys look amazing. Their voices should have sounded amazing too. Let me take an example of one line that's not even the worst line in the whole film. I've never been to a step in Ken before. It's best not to look down. You can hold me tighter if you like. Now, if you're not from Ireland, that probably sounds a little Irish, but to me, it sounds super American. So if I was breaking it down for somebody and wanted to write it phonetically, I'd do it like this. You can hold me tighter if you like. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, it's not just Cameron. Leonardo did a terrible job too. So we're going to give that one three banshees. Next up, we're gonna look at one of my favorite films, Intermission. If you haven't seen this film, definitely check it out. It's just mad and fun and deadly, not deadly, like that deadly means another thing. We'll do a whole other video sometime about words. Kelly MacDonald is from Scotland and she did a stand-up job. He dumps me, ma. Breaks my heart. The Irish accent and the Scottish accent are wildly disparate, but they do have some traits in common. Kelly MacDonald does a really good job of some of the finer points of doing an accent. For example, this line. To know that you feel the same. How hard was that? Hard enough. It'd be super easy to get the how wrong by going too hard at the O or too soft. There's almost an E sound to it and you could easily overplay it. And for that reason, I'm gonna award this Irish accent four points. Now, I have said the Scottish accent and the Irish accent share common traits, so you'd think it wouldn't be that big of a jump. But then there's Jared Butler's portrayal in P.S. I Love You. Leave. Don't push me, honey. You wanna leave, just say goodbye. Don't ask me bollocks. Stop acting bilingual. Oh, kiss me arse. It was so bad that Jared even apologized for it afterwards, so I kind of feel like we should let him away with it. But that wouldn't be any fun. So he gets four banshees. Kate Blanchett in Veronica Geerin. The subject matter of this movie was really dark, so getting the accent wrong would have been an insult to the actual incident itself. And being among actors who actually were Irish would have helped that for her. At times, it gets a little tiny weeny bit hammy. It's a waste of time when I'm writing. I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to be writing about things that matter. It's probably only detectable to an Irish ear, but overall, I think she did a really, really good job. 
And on the flip side, let's go over to Sons of Anarchy. The little I have seen of the Irish accent was enough to turn me off it. Do I have to kill another one for you to show you how much I love you? I'm taking my family home. What even is that? It's like he flubbed, but then they kept it in. It's so bad. It's so, so bad. And it genuinely looks like a really good show. I know people who loved it. So that makes me mad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but due to the fact that I could have loved this show, but for those terrible accents, I'm gonna have to give you guys a full five banshees. There's just no excuse. And on to our favourite, it's Snatch and Brad Pitt. Well, Turkish, the five twice the size, and my master needs a caravan. Now, obviously the accent he didn't snatch is a thick dialect, and it's comedically so. But there are actually people in Ireland who talk like that. So credit where credit is due, Brad Pitt, you are not just a pretty face and you have earned yourself four pints. And we're moving on to a favourite television show of mine, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I love everything about this show and I'm pretty sure I've read every book about it too. And when I found out about Angel's Irish origins, I was so excited, but then he spoke. No, a real kill, a good kill, it takes pure artistry. Without that, we're just animals. Oh, David Boreanaz was walking his dog when he got cast in this role, and other than the accent, he did a pretty stand-up job. But there's just no excuse. It's just horrible. It's painful for me to do this to one of my favourite TV shows, but it's gotta be Four Banshees. Anyway, we're on to our last amazing accent, and that is in The General. John Voight. Oh my god, he got this spot on. Not only did he get the accent spot on, but also the overall feel of what that character would sound like in that setting. It's just so incredibly perfect. Have a listen. Listen to me, Martin. You're in a deep, deep hole. I'm going to put you away. I'm going to stitch you up for your own good. John Voight is up against some of our best actors in this film and he just holds his own. And for this reason, I'm gonna give him five points plus a shot of whiskey, our clear winner. And our final terrible, terrible Irish accent. I mean, he should be flogged for this. That's a little far actually, I'm gonna take that back. But it's just terrible. And responsible for an abundance of terrible Irish accents which followed, it's Warwick Davis in Leprechaun. Is that me gold? I'm a leprechaun, me dear. I mean, what? I've never heard anyone talk like that and your characterization is just obnoxious. Warwick Davis is an incredible actor, but I don't know what was going on here. I don't know why I said no like that, but obviously I feel very passionately about this. It's just not good, not good at all. You get five banshees plus a haunting from the children of Lear. And you should be forced to listen to Dustin the Turkey's Eurovision song on the loop. That's how bad it was, Bark. I'm sorry, I didn't make it so. It was actually really fun doing this list. There are so many other films and TV shows I could have included. So if you want to see another list, and I like making lists, let me know in the comments below and feel free to engage with one another in a respectful way, because that puts a smile on my face. That's a lot of kids. Thank you so much to everybody who's bought merch already. It's kind of blown me away the support for the channel. Other ways you can support this channel is by giving the video a thumbs up and sharing it on your social media or to an online media platform. That makes a big difference to me. And to me. So thank you and we'll see you later in the week.